Hey guys, this is Lockie, and this is the ninth part of my VR tutorial series. Here's what we're going to be making in this episode. Okay, so in this episode, we expand upon the previous episode, make it so you can actually slide in the magazine and drop it using the touchpad. So yeah, exact same as last episode, except with a few extra features. Okay, so getting started. Uh, first, what we'll do is actually create the points that it'll slide between. So uh, that'll be the attach point, which is where it'll actually attach to the object. And we'll have the disconnect point, which is like how far away it can go before it actually sort of disconnects. So I'll just name this disconnect point, and we'll move it down to about negative two, which will probably end up being like, um, actually we'll go even lower than that, probably like negative 10, maybe. Oh, that's, yeah, that seems good. Uh, so that's basically just how far it'll go down before it actually disconnects. Uh, so now we'll actually start coding. Uh, we'll create a few variables. So public transform point A, which will be the attach point, and public transform point B, which will be the disconnect point. So yeah, let's we'll just go back out into the editor, make sure you save that, um, select the magazine slot, attach the attach point to point A, and the disconnect point to point B. Okay, so now what we're going to do is actually get the sort of uh, slide between points function. So we'll just go into the sliding drawer. Uh, we've already written it, so if you missed that episode, just I'd recommend you go through and have a look at it so you can actually understand how this works. It's pretty basic, but uh, we'll get that and put it underneath the drop. Uh, so at the moment, this will bring up a few errors because we don't actually have some of these variables. So we'll get rid of this offset. Um, and... I guess we'll just give it a few bit more variables. So vector three point A and vector three point B, and we'll just get rid of this dot position. So really, all that'll do is you'll feed it in a point, and it you'll also feed in the first point, which will be the attach point, and the second point, which will end up being the disconnect point, and we'll process things from there. So um, next thing we're going to do is actually get this section right here because we since we're going to have it like slide and then attach we don't want to attach it as soon as it collides with it so what we'll do is we'll get that and if you're using visual studio you can use the quick actions and refactoring and extract method um, i'll just call this uh, attach mag slot if you don't use visual studio it's easy enough anyway but um yep that should be good um okay actually instead of using collide other we'll just get mag slot other and then we'll just get rid of all this uh, get component stuff so get rid of that and we will also get rid of that um next what we'll do is go into the yeah we'll just stay in the on trigger enter function and do a few things um so we'll add first uh, a variable actually i think so yep so mag slot possible slot. So what this will be is like um, when you collide with a new magazine slot it'll actually just sort of initialize this and set it to it uh, and what that'll do is it'll keep track of one that could be the new slot but it's not actually connected yet so that'll just keep track of all the sliding everything so inside of on trigger enter we'll just add if slot equals equals null uh, because we don't want to actually like sort of get a new possible slot if there already is a slot because that would be pretty redundant so in here um, just create possible slot equals other dot get component mag slot. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually create an update function. So um, void update, um, and we're gonna do a few things. This is gonna be a bit of a bricky code, but if get component parent, oh, uh, uh, get component held object dot parent actually um, does not equal null. So if we do have like a parent and something is holding this object, then continue. Um, and possible slot does not equal null. So there is something that we are actually sliding into, and slot does equal null. So just reinforcing that other thing we added earlier. Um, then we'll make it so that uh, transform dot position equals closest point online uh, so we're going to use that uh, transform dot position because that's where we want the closest point to be like reference from uh, and then we'll do possible slot dot point a dot position 
technically it could just feed in point A, but I feel it like might as well just do this in case we use the um, closest point function again. So then we'll just do possible slot dot point B dot position. And what that'll do is it'll basically just make it so that if you do have a possible slot, then it'll basically just uh, attach your thing to the nearest point on the sort of field that it has. That would work and it would do things, but it wouldn't ever connect and it would just be useless. So once you go near that range, it'll just sort of like find the nearest point in between the two points and then nothing would ever happen from then. So next thing we'll do is we'll add a few if statements. So if transform dot position uh, equals equals uh, possible slot dot point a dot position. So if it is up on the upper end, so which is like actually the attach point, then we'll make it so that it actually attaches the mag slot and I uh, do all that product mode stuff, uh, and then feed in the possible slot. So that really is just going to make it so that um, it'll do all this stuff that would happen initially inside of this on true granter function, and it'll just sort of um, do it when it gets to the top part where it, it would actually connect. Uh, this will make a lot more sense when you see it visually, but um, yep. So then what we'll do is we'll get rid of the possible slot so it stops uh, sliding between the two points. So possible slot equals null, and then we'll do an else if. So else if transform dot position equals possible slot dot point b dot position. So if it is on the bottom point or the disconnect point, then we'll just do possible slot equals null. Okay, so that works, but sometimes when you try to pick up the gun, uh, what will actually happen is it will sort of pick up the magazine instead and disconnect it, which is not what we want. And say this were an actual gun and you shot, uh, since it like sort of, you know how you can just sort of pick it up and pull it out um, with this thing, if that's not actually how it works with a gun, you actually have to sort of disconnect it, uh, and that happens with a button. So what we're going to use is we're actually going to use the touchpad uh, system we in, like created earlier. So you can initialize which direction you want to have to press and then it'll just disconnect it and then it just drops out of the gun. So uh, to do that, uh, we'll go into the gun script and we'll create a new variable. So public touch location, or touch position actually, um, mag drop location. Um, and next what we'll do is actually create a few more lines just to sort of check that does happen. We won't have to do much because we've already sort of uh, created the function that allows us to check which position the touchpad is on, but we still have to do a bit of stuff. So void update if get component held object dot parent not equal null. Uh, that could be something we just turn into a function so we can just sort of know, but it's fine for now. Um, so if we do have a parent and that parent is getting a touchpad down, uh, uh, just get, yeah, so um, it's getting the touchpad down, so get component held object dot parent dot controller dot get press down valve dot vr dot evr button id dot uh, touchpad. So you could actually make it so that this is a variable, so you can change this, but uh, for us we're just going to make it so that it uses the touchpad and you can choose which side of the touchpad you use, which is this drop your location thing. So then if get component held object dot parent dot current touch position, so that just gets which position it is, equals mag drop location. Um, so yeah, it basically just checks that that is the same as the variable. So um, say we set it to down, then it just checks that it is down or whatever. So um, then inside of this, we're just gonna make it so that mag slot, mag slot dot detach mag. So the thing is, that won't really do anything. All that'll happen there is um, when you detach it, because of the current uh, magazine slot uh, detach function, all it'll do is it'll just make it so that they don't recognize each other and then it'll stop following it. Um, instead, what we want it to do is actually go into like the current magazine before we uh, set it to null and we want to actually drop it from its function. So current mag dot drop. So that'll just make it so that it actually sort of disconnects and falls to the floor. Uh, it still have 
Well, it'll have a bit of self collision, but that's something we'll fix a bit later probably. Uh, so yeah, that'll do everything. Actually, I'll just clean this because we're not actually using it. But um, yeah, that'll do everything. But what we want to happen is make it that like we can't pick it up because that'll drop it, but we can still pick it up straight from the gun. So what we'll want to do next is actually sort of uh, add a variable inside of the held object script and we'll call it um, so public bool can uh, pick up and then we'll set it to true because we want pretty much everything to be able to be picked up and next what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that it actually sort of takes that into consideration when picking it up so in the pickup function if can pick up then we'll encapsulate all this in a function or in the if statement so it'll only pick it up when it can be picked up which is all the time now except when you switch that off but what we want to do is update that update that automatically so um, we'll go into the mag slot script and we will inside of the attach mag um, we'll just make it so that current mag dot get component held object dot can pick up was false so when it attaches to the magazine slot we want it to actually make it so that the magazine can't be picked up so that just locks it on but then what'll actually end up happening is like um where if you disconnect it then it will never be able to be picked up again so inside of the detach mag we actually want to make it so that it can be picked up again so we'll just copy this and right before the dropped thing we will do dot can pick up equals true uh, so now you can do all of that stuff um, but there is still a small problem and that is sometimes you want to actually be able to pick it up because normally when you would have picked it up picked up the magazine instead of the gun it'll still sort of recognize that you should be picking up the magazine but it won't let you so it'll just sort of be like it won't pick up anything when it should be picking up the gun if that makes sense so what we should do is when we check um, like in the hand script when we sort of check for things that it can pick up um, what we want to do is actually sort of add that to the checks so whether it can be picked up or not so and call dot get component held object dot dot can pick up so that just makes it so that if you can um that'll just only vibrate when it actually goes over an object that can be picked up and we'll just copy that real quick uh is that the right thing yep that is so we'll copy that and also add it to down here um, so right at the end of the line. So we'll also actually, um, I don't think we really even want this right here. So we'll just get rid of that because we're not using that anymore. Uh, we've already used it in a different place. But um, yeah, so that is all of the code and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so there's actually one more thing and that is in the magazine script, I think. Uh, yep, so we'll actually just make it so that the transform.position equals possible slot dot rotation uh, possible slot dot transform dot rotation if I can type okay so we actually don't want position or rotation I don't know why I said that but yeah so that what that'll do is it'll just make it so that the, the these are all like rotationally aligned so before like they could just rotate all over the place and they wouldn't line up which just didn't make sense so now everything is done okay so back inside the editor um, just select the magazine slot I think it is no actually the gun and in the gun part of the script, uh, gun components, just um, in mag drop location, just select that and choose down. Or you can choose whatever you like, but I'm just going to go to it down. So uh, I think that's everything, and I'm just going to test that now. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, the next episode will most likely be a suggestion episode. Um, so yeah, that'll be buttons and levers. I'm not sure which one, maybe both. But yeah, see you then. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and check out some of my other videos. If you haven't already, subscribe and enable notifications so you can know whenever I upload. See you in the next video.